we want to write statements that are logically equivalent to the two that are given. And to do so, we're going to need to use the distributive rules. So again, remember the distributive rules say that if we have something like this, we can distribute across the parentheses. And if we have and and or instead, we can do the same thing. So we can distribute these operations across groupings, parentheses. First, on these word statements, we want to convert them into symbolic form. So here we're told for the first one, the suspect has blue eyes and either a visible scar or a beard. So let's consider having blue eyes to be P, and then we see and either he has a visible scar or a beard. So that's a grouped piece. A visible scar could be Q, or he has a beard, be R. Using the distributive rule, we can distribute this and across the or. So we get P and Q, or P and R. Now, to write that in English, that would look like he has blue eyes and a visible scar, or he has blue eyes and a beard. For the second one, we can do the same thing, but notice that we have either and then a compound statement with and or a last piece. So we have either or our space program will fail. So in the either or, or in the either part, we put, we invest in basic research, call that P, and we train engineers, Q. Again, with the distributive rule, we can distribute the or across this parentheses. So we'll have P or R and Q or R. In words, that would look like we invest in basic research or our space program will fail, and we either train engineers or our space program will fail. 